Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name's Laura and today we are going to talk about vintage shoes. So I've built up quite the little collection of vintage fall and winter shoes. Some of them are actually vintage and also some are vintage replicas. So let's jump right in and I'll show you my fall shoe collection. So I'm going to start with the two pairs of vintage shoes that I picked up this week. I'm really excited to share these ones with you because the first pair is an authentic pair of 1950s high heels. So I've had my eye on these shoes for a while at work and they are an authentic pair of 1950s stiletto shoes. They are absolutely darling but they're tiny. They're so small I can barely even fit my hand inside of them but I had to have them because they just felt like collecting like if I own this I felt like almost collecting a piece of artwork that should be in a museum because I could totally see these in a museum because they're just so small and they're authentic 1950 shoes and you can see on the bottom which is interesting that they're made out of wood and it's very curved on the bottom as you can see and I was told that shoes the older they are the more of a curve they have because newer shoes it's just flat here so you can see that they're authentic just based on the wood base on the bottom and how tiny they are and the label is very interesting too inside and these ones were I believe $16 and these are my vintage 1950s pumps and the second pair of shoes these are actually slippers and when I saw these I was like freaking out because obviously they're baby blue with gold and they have purple fur around the edges and the bottom is full leather and these are actually vintage Clarks made in England I don't know I just think they're very beautiful and unique I just love theatrical looking slippers like these I just love the colors and the gold the fact that they're all leather they're like pretty much brand new I'm just so curious to who owned these before me but to me they're just beautiful shoes and they're gonna be perfect to wear this winter and these ones were only $8.95 and I've built quite a collection of vintage shoes from ModCloth I find ModCloth has an amazing selection of vintage replicas so I'm just gonna show you my full collection from ModCloth when it comes to vintage replicas and just fun shoes, I really like bait footwear. And the first pair that I got are these really cool ruby red slippers. I've always wanted a pair like this. They kind of remind me of Marie Antoinette or the shoes that men used to wear back then with the heel and the bow on top. They definitely have a Baroque look to them. They're very comfortable and I just love the bow and the high heel and that they're not super high and they have a lot of support because they're more square. I just think they're a really fun addition. Honestly, I w I'd wear these all year. I'm not one to worry about wearing something too theatrical. I mean, these aren't just meant for Halloween or anything and they're just, I'm actually kind of, sometimes I get nervous about wearing them outside because they're just so pretty. I don't want to wreck them. So I have to make sure it's not raining when I wear them, but this is the first pair. And the second pair from Mod Cloth is another pair of bait footwear. These ones are like a classic vintage inspired high heel. I love it because it has the lace up the front and the little details on the side. I also love the lining and the heel is quite large so it has a lot of support and it's not too high either and I just find it to be a very comfortable shoe and they just make any look really retro looking and they're perfect little vintage replica. Going into the kind of brown vintage replica high heels are these ones from Mod Cloth. I love the kind of T strap in the front and then all the little different details along the front and back. Um, they kind of have that brogue look, but they're a little bit dressier than the other pair I showed you. And they just look really cute with a vintage dress or a vintage replica dress and then a cute pair of black tights. And I love the closed toe too for the fall and the colors are also very perfect for fall and winter. And continuing on with the brogues are these blue suede ones. I'm a huge fan of brogues. I'm 5'7", so I'm not too tall but I'm not also that short so I don't necessarily like to wear high heels all the time a because I suck at walking in them I always find that like I'm just not the best at walking in really high heels and they aren't very comfortable so for the most part I like to be comfortable and I do walk a lot and I love brogues they're one of my favorite style of shoes I just love them with dresses with tights and they're just really cute and I love these blue suede ones from mod cloth and I don't know they're just a really cute pair of shoes and these are wanted brand from Mod Cloth. And then I got this really cute pair of kind of velvet shoes from Mod Cloth. I love the bows on them and they have zippers in the back. And they're just a really kind of romantic style. I mean, obviously they're 
for dressing up you can't really wear them in the rain or anything but they're just really cute i think they'd be perfect for the holidays too with a vintage dress or something like that and i just thought they were really unique i've never seen anything like it and i love the kind of purple velvet as well as the bows and this is my last pair of shoes from Montclaw. And speaking of brogues, this is my last pair of shoes in my collection. And this pair is from Collective. And these shoes are made in London. It's called Lulu Hun. And honestly, I just love the fun, glittery pink and black look to them. They're just so unique and fun. I'm really excited to wear these. Um, I, they kind of have a 1950s kind of look to them. They kind of remind me of like a retro 1950s diner with the pink and black and the glitter. I just think they're really fun and they're just like a cute little addition to my fall brogue collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of all the shoes, which pairs are your favorite, and where do you shop for your shoes? Do you like to buy vintage shoes only or are you kind of open to buying vintage replicas? I'd love to know your opinion and your thoughts on which shoes are your favorite and what do you think of my new vintage ones that I got? Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!